friends, here we are. McKinstry Road. And it is on this road. So friends, I didn't want to bore you with how I found this. I drove up and down this road a couple of times and couldn't find a mailbox or anything. So I finally decided it was on this side of the road. So I stopped and uh, flew the glory to see and I'll show you the glory footage later in the video, but that's how I finally figured out where it was and where the uh, driveway was. So after sending the glory up and using my Starsky-like research skills, not my Hutch, by the way, Hutch wasn't that great a researcher and great investigator, so I always use my Starsky skills. I found that the house is on this side. I recognized it from the pictures. And so I followed up the road to find where the driveway met the road to see if uh, if somehow I could verify that this was it. I recognize the picture of the house, but I wanted to verify the entrance. Here we go. There's a number there on the gate. Let's say 30. <laughs> That's an 8. And that is, in fact, a 4. So this is it. That is the, the ranch right there that Vernon Presley owned. This is the, the gate to it. And it is right down there. And this was across the street, these folks. So friends, out here in this country road is where they actually called it, believe it or not, Hound Dog Ranch. And there is the ride up right there. You see it says Presley's Hound Dog Ranch. That's the gate to it right there. So a lot of you did not know that this even existed, but there it is, friends. So friends, I would venture to say that most of you had no idea that this even existed. There's very little known about this place, but this is what they wrote about it. Purchased by Vernon Presley in 1974 and used frequently by his son Elvis, according to some of the older residents in the area. Hound Dog Ranch, 268 acres, agriculture. It had uh, agricultural use. It has a bunch of ponds on it. It has a cabin that's actually a house. It's pretty large that's been restored. Uh, it's got that barn on it. Now, I know that the house, the cabin part is original because I've seen it in other things. Very few things written about this, but I've seen it in other places. And where I'm at now, if you look where the gate is, where I was at, is in the far right corner. I just turned by it, but the driveway that you see in front of you goes to the gate, which is on the far end of the property. That is the house right there. We're hovering over it. Now I'm going to drop in there and so you can kind of see it. And I'm going to do a 360 so you can kind of look around and see what it looks like down there. I wish somebody had been home there uh, so I could go up to the house. You know, I'm not going to jump over the fence and go in there. Uh, not something like this. Out in the country, you get shot, friends. You got to be careful. I did go across the street and knock on the neighbor's door to see what he remembered about Elvis being there, but there was nobody home. But that is a driveway, and you can see that it goes all the way uh, back to the front. I'm going to take off and kind of give you an overview. I'm going to go over to the other side of that pond and fly back to the barn just so you can take a look at that. So, like I say, I really can't say where Elvis if he ever was here other than people saying that he was i can't find any pictures any information but i would assume that vernon did own this so i would assume that elvis was at absolutely here at some point so there's another piece of the elvis puzzle friends so just another couple little tidbits this cabin was built in the 1940s vernon kept about 60 head of cattle here and the biggest piece of this little puzzle that I thought you would like to know, this uh, farm was sold on August the 10th, 1977. Six days before the demise of Elvis Presley. That's right, you heard me. 
August the 10th, 1977. So friends, I got one last thing that I want to do. I want to see how far it is from here to Graceland. So let's see if I've got Graceland in here. There it is, right there. A boom yow. So let's see what it says. It is showing that it is, uh, it is 2.30. We would arrive at 3.30, which means it's a, about an hour. So you can see it is 48 miles. Or does that say 46? It's 46 miles mm -hmm. from right here. So that gives you an idea of how far it is. Let's go back to the... Uh, to the let's go back to here and zoom out. See what that looks like. So there you go, friends. There is an example of how far it is back to Graceland. Now you know about Hound Dog Ranch. Tighten up every chance you get. So one more little quick thing, and that is I have no way of proving that Vernon called this Hound Dog Ranch. That doesn't sound like something Vernon would do, I don't think. It could have been a real sharp marketing real estate agent calling it that to try to get more money for the ranch. Who knows? Thank you.